What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. And in this episode, we are continuing our war against the Mughals in North America. So we've also declared war on the Huron. We are raiding their ports. We have fought a large battle down here in Curacao, which this force under Vito Spero is reinforcing like mad. This force under Donato Costa needs to be um, rebuilt. Or pretty much entirely rebuilt. We do have an army down here we could do something with. Um, as long as we were outside of outside of range for their fleet to, do any, to get into any issue. As long as we're out of range of this fleet to not interfere with our operations. Your raiding could use this fifth. Retaliation. So I might... I might hold these guys in reserve, in reserve on at Curacao, because we do need to fight the remaining Ottoman stacks here, not Ottomans, Mughal stacks. But I don't necessarily want to fight them at the moment, although I could just put put Curacao under siege just to cause them some to cause them some stress. I'm going to want to beef up my forces a bit because we need to take Nassau, that we need to push the south, which is, you know, is very densely populated with Mughal troops. So we need to keep wearing them down in the north. Then in Europe, we have armies are gathering for the eventual invasion of the, the Mughal homeland. So we've got three stacks here, and we are following that up with associated recruitments of fleets to get in there and do some good damage and we want to blockade all their ports and prevent as much movement of goods and money as possible this force can march down to istanbul to be combined into a useful army you're no longer on the move you're on the move you're on the move everyone's on the move because you need to start Drawing the British into war. And we're also squeezing the Persians to the south. But I right, I kind of want to... I don't necessarily want to attack them right now. I want to get more of my armies into position to deal with any potential counter blows that might come our way. And strikes. Everyone's on the march. Okay, even hitting territories like Naroon, they've got... I mean, it's a bit of chaff, a bit of chaff. That's the Georgian University that's going to be destroyed because we do not need it. Let's repair you. Okay, let's hit end turn. Because we need... We need a lot of reinforcement to happen. And we need lots of... We just, need, we just need a turn for our armies pretty much across the board to uh, pick themselves back up. So there are even more troops for the invasion of India. The amount of firepower we're going to need is quite staggering. So right now that's two in Malta, three in Italy, plus two more up there, so that's seven. Looks like we might be drawn into a war against the... a battle against the British, which would be great, because we do need to just start drawing away their uh, their troops because they've they're dug in quite significantly on Arda build I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fight it manually because I don't want to trip both these armies yeah so one way to go about this could be the speedy siege so attack the city take the city quickly and that will knock Great Britain out of the uh, out of the game but I want to try and lure them into few battles, A, because I think it's a bit more interesting for you guys, and B, I would like to try and farm a bit of experience, because lots of these armies are actually um, not particularly capable. So, for example, this army, there's a lot of militia, I think there's some buccaneers in that army as well, so there are lots of armies. This is an army that's been recruited in the Caribbean, but has probably teleported to Europe due to Britain being knocked out. Well, Britain's probably traded away a territory 
and that's resorted in their army teleporting back to Georgia. Get some of our heavy coverage. Push up the right. Sars up the left. General in the centre. These are the famed British redcoats. The artillery comes in. It's all going to be focusing on this horse artillery. Quick climb near misses are doing some good damage. Let's get my howitzers to knock out or to go for their infantry units in particular. I'm happy to let my field artillery continue to engage the horse artillery. Yeah, militia. See a good chunk of line. There's a buccaneer unit somewhere. There it is. Yeah, buccaneers and militia, especially colonial militia. This is all colonial line. So they've not. And you're marching forward in column. Brave. But let's get get my troops up in their face. We got we've got just massive fire superiority, especially if your howitzers do keep tip the uh, units to the front, especially units like this that will get some good collateral damage. Field artillery. Okay, we are being hit there. Let's push. Push you guys up on the flank. Push up my hussars. Push up my general who's under fire. Colonial lights are gone. Run my cavalry. There we go. Our devastating volleys are hammering home. Then these guys fire it well off. Yeah, they're not long for this world. Bring our cavalry into the mix. chase down their units. Let's get all of our artillery to halt firing. It's no longer needed. Like you're charging down the buccaneers, but they are not the one we're going to be focused on the most. Even yeah, make sure your fire will off as well. Make sure all these guys are set my general fire will off. Excellent. So it's the infantry we want first. Artillery would be nice. Okay, I might actually let, let my infantry fire, because they're all just going to shoot the general anyway. And let my cavalry chase down the... Chase down the bad guys. I'm not so bothered about killing the general. The rest of their their army, I'm bothered about. Only one guy you have to kill there. I mean, these these units are going to escape, sadly. Try to charge the horse artillery down, but they're likely to escape. They've escaped as well. Well, they're just too close to the edge of the map. But I'll take that. That's a enemy formation that's been crushed. Any more for any more, Britain? That's the first one. We'll have the lot of you. Although it looks like they are struggling with their end turn decision-making process. Yep, here come the Persian reinforcements, because they are aware of what's going on at the capital. Um, yes, I think I do fight that 
point this uh, defensive battle. Reinforcements are only a short distance away. Whereas now we can do some real damage to the garrison, especially as we have a second army coming out from the south. So if nothing else, we do lots of damage to their garrison, well, that will still be quite an important uh, win. So, the they attacked us... Weird L-shaped terrain here. And again, a bugged out, so I've got some huge artillery units. So I'm going to pivot slightly this way to be slightly facing towards the right because the, the enemy reinforcements should be coming in over here. So this unit's got 164 guys, which means instead of five artillery teams, it's got six. Pretty awesome. So let's get some troops on the right. Some troops on the left. No, troops on the left. Now it's troops on the right. I am anticipating the potential for, the potential for some shenanigans to kick in, since my riflemen are going to be the reserve. So you've got percussion shells, but percussion shells just aren't as good as quickline. So. No shenanigans. Good. By a shrapnel shot. Yeah, that's doing a lot of damage, and they're all coming in from way back here. Way back. So this poor army here. Yep, just uh let them be them. <laughs> Man, they are being cut to ribbons, and they're only levy. It is beautiful, though. Although, are they going to retreat, fall back, to form up with the their body of well, their, their other body of troops? That's why I've sped time up. Cause you may as well speed up time to let the bulk of their actual army get on the field. Well, it looks like. Well, it looked like they were fleeing. I don't think they actually, I don't think they flee in this game in Empire the way they do flee in newer Total Wars. I think they do actually they do continue the fight as much as you think they shouldn't or wouldn't. Let's advance my left wing up. You can continue firing around sharp over the lines of troops. You guys can reload the shrapnel sharp. Focus on the camel mercenaries. Howitzers go for the camels as well. Can't go for the camels. So the answer here, I think, is to go on the offensive. Well, on the limited offensive. So we take, we go on, well we advance, we advance, we don't, we don't, um, don't go mad. My howitzers can limber up. One set of my heavy horse artillery can limber up and hopefully you can... Ah yes, get aboard. Curious thing is, let's see if it slows them. Let's see if having those extra men slows them down because they're not horse mounted. Okay, they just leave them behind. Fair enough. Bring the cuirassiers up to hit their camels. 
Okay, these gunners can now limber up. My howitzers push up. You guys fight the camel mercenaries because you're more than capable of taking them on. My heavily armoured cuirassier. Defence 21. Wander up my rifleman to the desert. To the desert. So they want to send Levy to try and counter me. I lost two Crossier and they've lost, you know, nearly 40 camels. They keep doing more damage. While they're all mixed in, keep doing damage. Let's cut them down to 26. So now these guys can fall back. The Levy is keen to try and uh, do some damage back. You guys now unlimber. gun team back here that's not doing anything you can get up onto this high ground why are they <laughs> running away shrapnel shot that new unit of camel mercenaries might actually get my rifles to hightail it over to the right flank Go get him. <laughs> That's not even funny. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh god. 20 camels dead in one volley. These guys are going to get peppered with a shot. Commit my cavalry to pursue... We've got some artillery back here. They're still coming in. So we aren't chasing down to destroy. We are chasing down. Oh. So much death. No army's going to dare head to our front. You guys reload. You hit the bowman. You guys are nearly up in... Uh, how it says... Go a bit closer in. To be honest... They're all shattered. Focus on that unit that's not yet shattered. a delicious outcome. Let's continue the advance. So I wanted these guys up on the hill because they've got raised ground and they can continue to bombard with round shot from long range. Hey, the men have caught up now. Bring my cavalry back so they don't overextend. Advance the right flank. Bearing in mind we do still have you know, a, good, a good chunk of troops coming in. But this gun team that's up on the ridge is within range of their artillery way back there. If you guys don't get out of the way, you're going to get shot to pieces. This artillery. God, that's some that's a trajectory. They're really lobbing their shells in there. God damn. Accuracy 71. They're good. They're real good.
to be honest, as beautiful as those shrapnel shells are, I don't think they're going to play a vital part in this battle. Just keep pushing out with my infantry to do most of the damage. The howitzers that are in position, just start shooting with round shot. This is going to be an infantry engagement. Be a turkey shoot with those musketeers. Yeah. So those are camel nomads. Those are skirmishers. Cuirassier, the 30th, can charge them on the flank. They're already wavering for being shot in the back, shot in the rear. And they've they're shot. So let's advance this infantry line up. Okay, hunker down. This is just not... Not fair. The cavalry can gang up on the Felain. On you guys, reload. Charge. Yeah, just, just, just attack the Felian, just wipe a unit off the map completely. Their artillery's been destroyed. Expert gunnery from long range. Yep, there go the camels. Yeah, they're routing so fast we can't actually chase up chase after them and kill them as quick the way we'd want to do. All my artillery focusing on units to the rear. How it's as limber up because they're no longer useful. If you guys can annihilate the levy, that'd be great. That'd be another unit I would just charge down with my cavalry. Here's Obashi coming in. Just so, so much damage. That's my this howitzer unit that nearly killed some of my cavalry. Charge on through. My Lancer Guards in reserve. Bashi are attempting to uh, relocate. Let's give me a general over there, over on the left. In general, though, it's just going to be too, too fast moving because look, there's artillery coming in. These guys are already wavering. They're already broken. I mean, these musketeers. Hey, my guys on. I turn these guys off for it. Well, so my ropemen that are currently not skirmishing, they're just in the battle line when they shouldn't be. I'm just gonna let the let my muskets just slaughter these men. My general's advancing. Take him out. So much death and destruction. The artillery is having a wonderful time. 
My infantry is having a wonderful time. Let them carry on. Just keep... Keep cutting them down. Let's let my infantry gain some experience. This is part of the reason why I've got my general over here, because he can help hoover up some of these guys. So much experience. Yeah, just let him... Let him take the damage. This flank can push up to try take, try take this hill. Get my lancer guards in to try hit this infantry unit on the flank. We've got armed populace coming in. Cease artillery fire, lancer guards in. You go. Curacier, in you go. In. Just look at him. Look at them all. You know, kids, Obashi, you're upset. It's just armed populace coming in now. And you're not going to necessarily do what I want you to do over there, because you're this unit's very scattered. So let's get my cavalry out of there. This is the thing to be careful of with cavalry, is that it's very easy to just go, yes, we'll take him out. Run him out wide. Then bring them back in when conditions are a bit more favourable, like the now. And you guys just advance. Because now we're in a. We're in a bit of a melee frame of mind now, because this is the last unit they've got on the field. Just keep slaughtering them. So I mean, I'm, I'm completely fine with getting my some of my infantry involved. This Feline unit's going to get shot to pieces by my infantry, which I'm happy with. Pursue those that last feline musketeer unit. Man. Damn right we're gonna continue. This is great. Now you're trying to flee. Italians on horses, Italians on foot. Everywhere around you, men are just killing everything they can see. Why I particularly want to get these guys is because they are the garrison. Oh, some of them are. Bowmen, musketeers. Eh, hit the hit the fourth. These guys are going to escape. So many deaths. I can try kill some of the bowmen at least. Most of those guys are a unit that's already escaped. Probably get you out wide. Let's go chase down that unit. But I doubt they're going to get very far. Come 
I mean, they're probably going to escape. That's the realistic outcome there. So the infantry... Fire it will off. Now you guys can attack the populace when you're not going to charge down and kill quite so many of your own men. Chomp. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We're not going to get those guys though because they've spread out nicely. Although... Oh, we're going to get them. Unless they're hidden. No, they're not hidden. Well, not hidden, but you know, scattered. But there we go. Nice. That is a lovely, lovely win. So let's have a look. Oh, we lost 164 men. They lost five and a half thousand. Lancer guards at top, because obviously they were just slaughtering people. Heavy horse guard artillery. Kill 617. <laughs> Curiosity, 617. Yep, my uh, awesome artillery is just getting more and more accurate and lethal. So that's done a lot more damage for you than you'd like. <laughs> I mean, that's caused a lot more problems. Obviously, after we've got a few more um, major fights against the Mughals to go in North America. That's why we need to keep Quebec pumping out armies. And that's why I would like to open up a second front. Because, you know, they're not going to let us get away with that for too long. We can't just push on that. That's a lot of men. I want them to try and push us, and I can engage them in in a slaughtery defensive battles. I'm going to auto that. La Vittoria in Nostra. Back you go. So we've got a strong economic blockade. They can push Quebec as much as they like, um, because we've got quite a strong position there, and it's only going to get stronger every turn. To be honest, it is now. Ooh, the native factions are attacking me and they've got barely any troops. Yes. Um, is now the time we start attacking mainland India? Hmm, maybe. I've got all my armies sat there doing nothing. They could be doing something useful. I'd like to, ta I'd like to attack Calcutta. So, native factions. Let's not go mad. We've got plenty of firepower, plenty of cavalry. Make sure we use it. And the regiment, of course, forward to scout. And that's where the enemy are coming in. To be honest, I might actually limber up this artillery. Scout up to the high ground. You can't really hit them because the train's in the way so much you might actually start hitting my cavalry if I'm not too careful. And my howitzers keep engaging. They're not that way, you want to face forward. Hello. Native American warriors. Ah! Enemy! Enemies! Take them out! Oh, pardon me, guys. The doorbell just rang. And I'm back. Right, so. 
howitzers drop lots of lovely lovely things onto the onto the native troops yeah more of them coming native american warriors i mean they're all quite depleted so it's not don't worry about it too much but i've had plenty of bad things happen fighting the native american factions so let's get my cavalry behind the line because it looks like they are well and truly locked on yes there's still a bow unit all the way at the back which would be could be a bit annoying The Lancers have made it to our front lines, but hopefully you guys are reloading. Soon you will pour beautiful volley fire into the Native American warriors. Ooh. Eh, yeah, we'll be okay. They've not got the numbers that they'd like. Ah, it's my other artillery coming in being annoying, eh? Get the cavalry into the mix. everyone like that. Those Native American warriors are definitely going to get into combat. Yeah, they went for my gunners. They recognise that our greatest strength is our firepower. You guys hit those native warriors. There's also a bow unit back there we need to deal with at some point. But let's try and... Oh no, they're, they're over there now. Yeah, those, gun, those gunners are done for. Keep them out of the line. Pour a volley into those warriors, but they're not going to be around for too long. Blast the native warriors, but you missed! Get my howitzers firing around sharp. Yeah, absolute wall of muskets. We all know how good muskets are. They're, well, muskets, technically not brilliant, but they're amazing if you've got one and they don't. Guys, regiment of horse, or horse guards. Let's get them out of here. Still have some units coming into the fight, but meh. Just gonna get the general involved. Position these guys. To hopefully. Pour devastating volley fire into these Native American warriors to make them rout. Yeah, there they go, they're shattered. You smash into that Native American warrior unit, there's only 91 of them.
position one of you like so. Let's push you guys up. Take you guys and push you guys up. Regiment of Horse might get chopped a bit by the native infantry unit. There we go, let's get my Curacier over here as well. To help out. See, these medicine men might cause... may cause some issues, but we've got a couple of units now that are in a good position to open fire. They've been pushed back. Yes, the air are going to hopefully kill this native unit here so I can free them up for other duties while my general chases them down. Should probably don't want one of these guys. Charge the native bowmen. Let's get them out of here. native bowmen up on the hill I don't think it's going to be the it's not going to be the make or break factor garrison native bows they're done let's hit them with our cavalry there's another bow unit that's hidden there's a couple of bow units that are hidden let's get my smaller cavalry unit to take out one bow unit these guys are going to get cut to bits by my musket fire. How about it? Stop the artillery from firing completely. go we are going to continue because they've got garrison these are um, there are garrison forces involved so it's nice to well we want to damage their garrison as much as we possibly can and there's one unit all the way up on that hill that will escape because probably there's only a handful of guys left. And then it's just these guys. I mean, I'll send my cavalry after him. If you keep serpentining your way to freedom, you might. Well, he won't catch you. Yeah, there's, there's a handful of them there. But I'll still take it. It's a good victory, and the sooner we win against the Huron, those are... Ooh, I might even, might even be able to demand the surrender of the territory. But the sooner we beat the Huron, the sooner we will be able to, tend to send even more armies against the Mughal forces. I'm not so bothered about the Black Hills and Yankton. I mean, maybe when we start pushing towards Upper Louisiana, but for now, eh. I mean, they, I could grab them en route, potentially. Workers on strike in Georgia. Let's exempt them from tax. Let's build a religious building to start the conversion. I, mean, I wouldn't expect them to be happy about it. Obviously you have another army here that can't yet leave. Cartwright's about to be developed. Actually, I might know. Upgrade you to a coaching inn. Um, okay, Global Trading Company. Let's upgrade another metal roads. Okay, it's important to keep upgrading our 
economic infrastructure base because we are going to keep expanding our forces. So we're going to want to have as much income coming in as possible. So, 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 so. You're okay for now. Um, eh, we had a tax here. Yeah, you're getting cavalry from Quebec. You men push up. Push up a bit like that. Because I want to march you guys into that small stack and hopefully, yeah, not bring in... Not bring in the other army. We'll not bring in the one up front. Let's push up. Well, you're going to be actually ahead of that army, even though you're you are a bit naked yourself. Okay, good. So Quebec's recruitment pool. You've got five slots. You're only recruiting units for this army, which is okay. Can't upgrade any buildings here, so you're at max capacity. Lots of good strength units here on the mainland. Let's, let's make Alde Adel Adelberto Cardano to go hit Jai Rathnor. It's a pretty depleted unit, mostly just rubbish bows. Pronti, in marcha. So you're okay. You can push up to secure. Actually, you don't need to worry about that, actually. You can just cross over. Obviously, this guy, Bartolomeo Spinelli, has been depleted. Guglielmo Zachariah can go up front. So you're still waiting for reinforcements. I, want to I would like to try and draw more enemy troops into battle, really. I would like that. I can't get any more American infantry mercenaries, because apparently I've, I've recruited 2 out of 15, and that's my luck. So up here in the northwest, let's demand the surrender of the territory. We demolish the tribal grounds. Prepare the, uh, prepare the governor's building. Let's upgrade our infrastructure. 91 turns till Churchill develops. I mean, I could send them to go take out Yankton. You've got this army up here. Up at this here on territory that can bring that can come in from the uh, the east. Fleet arrives. Dorado Scapa. Another army. Yes. But where to put you? Could land you somewhere behind the lines. But I like the idea of opening another front. I really do like that idea. So I might land two armies at New Orleans. New Orleans. I mean, that's not how they say it, but I've played that zombie game in the hotel. That's how Sam B says it. So let's disembark Dante Defendi. Probably will attack New Orleans, but I want to move you guys out because I want to get. Oh no, you're no, you're there. You're okay. You are on your own until this area can be can be secured. Okay, maybe you might make a call to take Carlo to store. Eh? Make a call to make him attack Punda. So we can knock out these Mughal stacks and then we'll have two armies that can replenish and land to try and support our army that's now landed alone in uh, southern US. Would be, it would be quite good if we could uh, get a bit more support over there, I think. Let's see. Yeah, if we knock out this territory, that's a whole bunch of Mughal stacks. I mean, well, I will have to send... Well, one of them will have to go towards... Um, one of them will have to go towards taking back the Bahamas. Very infantry heavy. 
Let's put... I'm going to put one gun team up on this hill. I am going to put one gun team... here... to engage. I'm going to make a bit of a mixed formation to go up through the centre of the town. Supported by... how it's a fire. Now on each flank, we've got a formation to push up around the town, each with cavalry support. So we could get screwed over by deployment. But let's find out. A bit screwed up. Screwed over. E men take the high ground. We do still have more units, more armies to come in. Just march up and secure the town. I mean, yeah, most of these supporting armies are weak themselves, so these individual brigades on either side will be more than enough. Now it's just dropping quick lime. You men advance to open fire. You guys are going to be opening fire almost immediately. To be honest, you guys, that's not even a good spot for you. Okay, I might actually send these three units to head off to the left flank. If these units are going to be more than enough to clear out the Mughals here, you guys might actually join them. So the leftmost artillery team, you can drop quick climb shot here, march you guys up onto the high ground to fire down into the enemy. They've got some cavalry that's going to attempt to disrupt our charge, so just drop into square. Okay, let's not form square because they are going to engage us in their own way. Yeah, they've been taken out. So we've got... Okay, you guys can unlimber. Okay, this... Okay, howitzers can limber up. Okay, there goes those musketeers. You guys can advance. The left wing move up. Again, they might try to charge us to throw us off balance. Nope, they're going to continue to engage us with skirmish fire. You guys are going to limber up. guys limber up. Look at these guys running through the town. You guys. Till we get more troops into the th region, this'll do. I mean, those elephants are going to cause real problems. As soon as my guys start to focus on the elephants, they're going to start firing by rank. You guys limber up. Two enemy generals killed. Even the militia can still be of some use. There we go, you men reload. 
because now we've got a good old infantry battle to fight. And that means fire by rank, good sirs. There they go. Oh, there you go, there goes another general. There he goes. Shot off his elephant. Yeah, those units are routing units. Okay, so then this wing and collect another infantry unit and advance. Make sure you guys are on guard modes. I mean, they're lining up with your guards, so have at it. Lenin Pajigans love this stuff. Collect another unit. Push the line up. Yeah, don't worry fellas, there's plenty of troops to go around. I could be making better use of my cavalry, but to be honest, we're making such a good sustained effort with my infantry, I don't really feel the need to. Okay, you... That is a disaster for you guys. These three units form up. So now those units high up on the hill are okay. you guys start to surround the enemy there we go it's a real big block of enemy troops there but uh, we are firing by rank into them if they wish to make a, a melee fight of it then we can do so Fusiliers halt and do not fire at will. Swiss guards get stuck in. Are they going to try it though? Oh, they're shattered, that's why. On, push on. Yep. To routing unit through the town, good stuff. Yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Total collapse. So all of my infantry cease fire. Cease fire. Fusiliers in there somewhere. Oh, they're chasing someone down. So where's the unit that's still alive? There's going to be a skirmisher somewhere. Take as many as you can. There'll be... There'll be a hidden unit somewhere. None of my guys are being fired upon, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Or do they miss, or do they already skip the battle map, battle screen, the end battle screen? I could well have done that. Phew. 
you want to try and chop up some of this unit here, but everyone else is going to escape. Yeah. All on that one unit, all the way in the back. 21 bowmen. Yeah, well, it's going to be close. We might get some kills, but they're probably still going to rout. Well, I mean, fundamentally, the we're going to take the city and the armies will be scattered. So, come on. I was hoping some of them might stop and fight us. Still, I'll take a decisive victory. Damn right I will. It's 227. They lost 3,000 men. There's still 2,000 left in the field. Unless they're all... So unless they all fall. Vito Spero. You stay where you are for now. Plantations and the and the port are ours. So yeah, we do need to send one army to go fight here at Nassau. You're probably going to attack New Orleans, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to win the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time where we open up a southern front against the Mughals in North America. Cheers everyone.